Hello friends, this video on body movements part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Birds, another interesting organism. So most of the birds are seen flying most of the time. However, uh, it is not necessary that all birds fly. There are a lot of birds like ducks and swan which swim in water. So uh, in general, we can say that birds can walk birds can fly, birds can also swim. So that means there must be uh, something with inside the body of the birds which help them to do all these activities. So how do birds move? So when you look at a rough skeleton of a bird, this is how it looks like as you can see on the screen. Now one major uh, factor that allows birds to fly is their lightweight bones. Now, when you look at the skeleton of the bird, you see that they do have bones, but they have lesser number of bones as compared to other organisms. So, lesser number of bones for, and also certain modifications like birds have beak. Now, this beak is a replacement to teeth. It is also a replacement. It, it serves the purpose of teeth, jaw both of these so when they do not have teeth they do not do not have jaw the number of bones have reduced right so there is just one beak which can serve the purpose of all but at the same time the beak is a lightweight structure many bones inside the body of a bird are hollow so less number of bones that is one factor secondly hollow bones now when the bones are hollow they are light in weight so as a result of this lightweight bones, birds can very easily fly because when their weight is light, they can easily move upward. At the same time, they have strong and powerful muscles because their muscles control the movement of the wings. So if the muscles are not strong enough, their wings cannot do their job. So they, their breast muscles are the largest muscles because the breast muscles, they actually control the wings. Now, not only breast muscles, when it comes to muscles, their breast muscles, which are the strongest muscles and they control the wings. Their skin muscles control the feathers because the feathers of the bird can also move. So the feathers adjust during flight and that is controlled by the skin muscles. Muscles in the tail. So muscles in tail help them to move their direction. So the musculature are towards the tail, they help them to change direction during flight. So all of these muscles together help birds to fly. So muscles control the wings as well as the legs. So the leg muscles for those birds which can walk, their leg muscles control the movement of the legs. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.